The focus of hospice care is on the emotional, spiritual, psychological needs of the patient and the family, just to be there to provide that comfort care. There's a team concept in hospice where it's not just the nurse, it's not just the doctor. We all work together with the patient and the family to try to meet the needs of the patient and also the family. You're caring for the terminally ill. You're taking a very intimate moment, um, the last moment of a patient's life or a person's life and caring for them. We we had a really, really good feeling about how Stay the Heart assisted and pretty much took over. In that short period of time, um, they delivered an unbelievable amount of information and quality that, uh, that had no price on it. Until Dad became diagnosed as, as terminally ill, um, and after we found out we just didn't have the expertise to, to deal with it and needed some assistance. That's when we found out exactly uh, that it's just a little bit more than an envelope at the funeral home. I'd have to say the biggest thing that Stay the Heart brought to the table for us was extreme flexibility for the needs that, that they provide. Uh, very personable, you know, just met a lot of nice people through the program. They just helped us um, understand more what he was going through. Your dad's always supposed to be around and sometimes they have to leave. The value of music therapy to hospice is invaluable. They are just another uh, team member that can go out to assist with the patient's needs, whether it's pain or anxiety. Sometimes it's just loneliness that they can go out and provide that support uh, to the patient. Well, the whole philosophy of music therapy fits in perfectly with the hospice philosophy. The brain does not focus on pain when it's processing music, and so it's a wonderful intervention for pain management, which very much fits into the hospice philosophy. Our primary focus is on the individual needs of that patient or family member. Music therapists not only address emotional issues, but they also can address the physical issues that hospice patients are having. As a music therapist, we are trained on how to use music in a therapeutic way, and we um, address very many issues such as pain, um, expression of feelings, um, things like that through the music. Music therapy was a part of my healing through my grief because it was inspirational and uh, peaceful and joyful. It was very inspiring to her as well as to myself to be able to enjoy her company and hear her sing her songs. During the last week of my mother-in-law's life, and she was in the nursing home and we were there and the music therapist came and brought her guitar and the three of us sang hymns uh, really to my mother-in-law. As a result of our, of our feelings toward the music therapist and how she had helped us all, uh, we did ask her to be a part of the funeral service and she sang and she said a few words at the funeral as well. I see them a year after. I'll see them in a grocery store or I'll see them at a meeting and they'll say, you don't have no idea how much that you helped me or or you were right because you said that this would happen and I didn't think it ever would, but it did. Because you have to say hello to your grief before you say goodbye.